Welcome to Gray Overload. And as motherboards are continuing to try to get a different edge or a another form factor or a different style, we're starting to see more to the market about how to make even cleaner builds with, um, I've mentioned this before, but uh, MSI's Project Zero. And that is actually a very interesting board that we took a look at. And we'll get into the Asus one here in a second, but just an overview of that one again is the Project Zero, it's a B650 board, and you'll notice that there's no power connectors on the front side. Now, th I think that this is the next logical step where to be able to do it. We have Corsair running that, um, their, side, um, their side power supply where the connectors on the side of the power supply would rather be trying to reach your hand underneath the case, underneath the PSU shroud. And getting your hand stuck so they have this and as we look you can see it's a fairly clean build here that MSI has been able to do and the connectors are on the rear side so I, I think that this is just a you know uh, I, I'd like to see more of this now if we can get case vendors to actually jump on this and implement this into their cases as well and so we have a bigger selection of that I think that this is a great option out there especially um, if you're looking for a cleaner build or you, you want to go down this route and I, I'm excited to see when this will start taking off um, you know they these got all the fans it's got still a thermal or you know your um, thermal solution stuff in front and but I like the connectors even the fan connectors the pump all that stuff on the rear side I think that your front panel connectors, the, all these loop over and they just they just don't look well. Now, functionally, if you just want a computer running, right, this is no not really functionally different, but um, I'd like to see more companies go to this. You still have your PCI slots and stuff in front, but those can be pretty clean and stuff um, to, go, to go on there, right? Even with power, that's probably the most annoying thing of that. And this is where maybe, you know, power supplies start going to what ASUS is doing. So I did a video a while back on ASUS wanting to do a, have the power connector on the motherboard and you know, right next to the PCI slot, something kind of resembling what Apple did a few years back. Now, if we get in, as we go down here and get into this, this is the ROG Maximus Z790 Hero BTF. So it's, you know, it's a 790 board you know, if you're going with something like this, it's, I think, like $800, so it's not cheap. I'm not saying that, you know, you should go out and get this. I'm just, you know, liking the progress that we're going here. I'm liking the technology part, not so much the price part. So as we scroll through here, it's the Hero BTF, and you can see, you know, it's Intel there. You'll notice that the connectors are on the rear, kind of similar to the Project Zero, and you'll notice here on where the PCI X16 slot, where your graphics card is, there's another slot there, and we'll get down to that, but that is the power connector, right? That's your graphics card high power slot, delivering up to 600 watts through the motherboard, and some of the stuff where you're kind of putting these connectors on the back side of the board allows you to do a little bit more with the front side. You have more space, you can reconfigure things, and you're able to do that, so this is going down that route right you have they say clean cable management right you got your hidden connectors then you have your graphics card now not all graphics card have these slots like this is something that everyone would have to get on board with and i think that it will also have to go through like um the pci sig department if it's going to be related to that or organization i should say department organization you know make sure nvidia amd are on board with this you know, you probably, well, also Intel, because eventually they probably want to use this too, as, as long as I hope, or any, as long, I hope Intel sticks to the graphics cards. But you get down that side of things, and you can really start seeing there's no cables up front. You have your cooler lines. That's basically it. Everything else is to the rear, and it's a very clean build, something that actually I'd like to try out to see, you know, how it overall looks. Now, so far, the cases are, you know, MSI has cases, and now ASUS has cases for builds like this. And I believe only ASUS has the graphics cards to be able to plug into this slot. 
does other manufacturers want to jump on board as well? If NVIDIA and AMD are behind this and saying this is the way the you know graphics cards are going to be going forward, that is a huge option. The, the problem is that what do you do with everything prior, right? All the old boards like I'm using here, you know, my friends using everybody else, what are they going to be using for graphics cards? Is there going to be a special connection? Are you going to have two versions of the cards? It could get messy in that area, but if they figure it out of, hey, you know, it's just a, you take the connector and it's just an adapter that runs, you know, alongside the board, um, you know, out to, you know, other connectors, whatever, you, you know, your 12 pin high volt power connector or whatever, that could be an option. I don't know if they've thought that far ahead um, for this, but I would like to see uh, a little bit more effort here to maybe make the transition for something like this and to, you know, for older users and newer users. So you're not going to have a mismatch of graphics cards of try people trying to figure that out because that would actually, I think, hurt the, um, the magnitude of what this can actually, you know, go and do because as people want to sell off old cars or stick with their equipment for a little bit longer, unless you're going to do a full build upgrade, you're going to be left a little bit behind. Now, maybe, you know, ASUS can get this into system integrators and they're all going to use this sort of thing to make popular take off for a few generations before, you know, we get to a area where this is more common and you don't have to worry about it. But BTF is, as they say, back to the future down here. Um, but the hidden connectors, I do like that. And then they have the graphics card high power slot, which is, um, you know, that right there. So they're going to loop back and forth. And, you know, they, they have some stuff on here, right? They got quick release and all that other fun stuff. Um, Q latch, Q antenna, which is, oh, I didn't know about some of these. Q code, which every board should come with a code, <laughs> uh, the code for that. And BIOS flashback, I think that too. But this is kind of what, this is what it looks like. This is all breaking down. You know, I'm not going through like really the whole specs of this board. I wouldn't mind building this board. I wouldn't mind building a machine with this board. But um, here it is, that's a high power connector, PCI. Again, I'm showing that again. All the connectors on the rear. This is one of those things where I could see, like the connectors on the rear are a little bit easier to get behind because you have, it's gonna be compatible with at least a certain amount of cases and at least, you know, you can modify a case or, you know, something like that if need be, right? You get a Dremel tool, you just cut it out, whatever you need. The problem with the graphics card side of things is you have a limited amount of uh, area, you know, that you're able to deal with or limited amount of boards that you're able to deal with with regards to the, I don't really know why I said area, with the boards that are able to, you know, work with it. So if you want to sell your graphics card, you're kind of stuck. Can Asus make this take off? Can they get other board vendors there? If they allow it so, you know, you have these boards out there and boards just start coming with it and you sell graphics cards that maybe can detect they have a 12 pin high power connector and they have this, they switch between the two depending upon which one they have. Granted, you probably have people that connect both and you'll have to deal with that somehow. Maybe it's software, maybe it's whatever. Um, bio screen, you could have it on detect, you know, pop up in the screen or something. Maybe, I guess if it's on an Asus, well, maybe you might be able to do that, but have that detection somehow. Maybe you can get this to take off. I'd like to see something like this. You get some of these new pieces of technology, some of these new ideas, and for building a case, it'd make it a cleaner look, it'd be more interesting, it'd be, I think, help people out to be able to, it's, okay, take off your rear panel, look to see what you got connected. It might help with a little bit of diagnosing, you know, you don't jar stuff. It may even help with shipping. <laughs> I don't know, right? I haven't shipped enough PCs to fully uh, appreciate what may or may not break. But is that a possibility? Is that something that can help out in these scenarios? 
I just don't know yet. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Let me know if you are thinking about getting this ROG Maximus Z790 Hero BTF. And if you are, let me know how you like building it. If you already have it, let me know how you like building it with it. Um, are you using the the uh, high their high uh, power connector that's on the motherboard? Let me know that as well. But it is an interesting little um, innovation here. I'd say that this is pretty innovative of what they're doing. And so let me know if that's something you'd like to see more of, or are you more a this is the way it's been forever and it doesn't need to change. I'd like to know that too. But thank you so much for taking the time to help support Grammar Alone, helping this channel grow. And you know, like, share, subscribe, hitting the bell icon, watching another one of my videos. It really does help grow the channel, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And until next time, God bless.